All right, y'all, Rick, tomorrow the morning show, four minutes after the hour. Gary has the tea in the clue of the day. Gary, good morning. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Friday, a beautiful day in the neighborhood, and here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. People are wondering, honey, will anybody be leaving Real Housewives of Atlanta soon? But then I read somewhere they're saying that everybody's going to stay on next season. But it's being reported out that Candy says sometimes she contemplates leaving Real Housewives of Atlanta. She said it's just stressful, and she also said, you know, that it, it, it just... She liked the girls and everybody on the show. She liked doing the show because she's the um, longest running um, actress on the show and what have you. But she said, you know, she said she hate reunions, y'all. She said, my stomach being nice. She said, I don't like coming to sit and argue with people for hours. Typically, it's a whole day, y'all, of arguing. Like, you know, she said, you're just going to go back and forth with people, revisiting a whole bunch of uncomfortable conversations. She said, some of the stuff, y'all, is just stuff that they already called um, themselves getting over. But as soon as they bring it back up, they say they're arguing all over again and what have you. And I noticed that, too, and, and I've seen it. And I know even you remember Real House of Atlanta at one point. Did you experience that? Or, I mean, or you just did your part and left? Oh, absolutely. I definitely found myself overwhelmed, frustrated, irritated. And then, like she said, the amount of um, contention and the amount of time that you argue, it's not regular. Like, it's just, it's not. Like, you know how you get frustrated with your friend or somebody you know, y'all get into it, and then you get over it. Not housewives. You have to live it again every day. So it just becomes, uh, I don't want to use the word toxic, but I can't find a better one. Yeah, and could you be there already taped the show and you've been made up? Then y'all could then when they come back and yeah. play the show, you get mad all over again. Right. And that's what she was saying. So, but hopefully she stay on the show. And you know, because we like Candy, honey, she does well. And I can say she's been one of the, the longest cast members on the show. So we're gonna see how that all turn out. All right, moving on. In other celebrity news, y'all, Wendy Williams may be filing a multi million dollar lawsuit, honey, against Miss Erica Menya, oh, baby. Because Lord. Erica, yeah, well, you know, we talked about that, honey. Miss Erica shouldn't have did what she did, though. I mean, now Erica, you know, she um, was on the show. She and um her husband, um Safari, they're having another child. And you know, Wendy just said, you know, she she liked the couple and what have you. She been knowing Safari for. A while now and this is their second child together well i mean wendy just said you know y'all having another child she said y'all all oh, y'all always oh, here y'all talking about this fighting and divorcing you know, or whatever she said won't y'all just go on ahead and divorce well honey miss erica didn't like that she honey they said she really didn't go for that so she went out and told wendy on social media she said, first of all honey at this point honey you know what i need to just do is link up with you honey and beat you because your husband didn't finish you off honey he didn't do a good job unquote <sighs> And Miss Wendy, honey, mm. and they said that's threat, man. That's a threat. Yeah, she should have left off the husband these days. Part. Can't say nothing these days. The beat up part, that's the part that you can't say. You can't say I'm gonna yeah. pull up. You can't say I'm gonna beat you. You can't say I'm gonna open the can of it. You can't say nothing because everything <laughs> I'm telling you is considered a threat. I know, child. You got to just, you can't do nothing. You just got to think it and do what you're gonna Listen. do. Sometimes it be a threat, though, because that's it. I mean, Erica did not mince her words. You can tell she typed that out clearly. She looked like she wanted to put it in bold letters. She, like, she, you you got to pull back from that. I know she <laughs> learned a whole lot from being on Love and Hip Hop, and, and I thought she was, you know, a changed woman. But sometimes the devil show up and rear his ugly head, Lord. Yeah, well, he sure did. And Miss Williams had to But she didn't have to that. speak on their relationship, yeah. though, Brad. But you know, that's Wendy's job. That's what she exactly. do. Everybody know okay, that's what she see, do. See, this is is the thing so she does that and then people have feelings like if i go on and just talk about y'all and say something y'all are allowed to have it's, a feeling about it's a way to handle a clap back without getting your butt sued for a terroristic threat my friend and when they say well, all they need to do is just grow up honey and grow into being parents honey, instead of all this back and forth and this divorce and, and you know he just said that he didn't like her just a couple of days ago allegedly he, he did so, you know, so so Wendy just going by what she heard. So, but nevertheless, uh, we're going to see how that turned out, y'all, because we sure don't need a lawsuit, honey, because we, no, we love no. it. Erica needs her coins, honey. She took a picture standing by her safe. So, in essence, she was saying <laughs> she got a lot of money in that safe. So, we go through. Yeah, so I was like, all right. Yeah, speaking of, honey, Tristan Thompson, y'all, now he's speaking out, y'all. He's a legend out uh -huh. there. That little fling, honey, he said, I need to see receipts right now. He sent her a sis and deceased. Um, that he said he will not be called a lie. He said he received, she said, too. Mm. And she received that letter, honey. He didn't, this girl not even caring about that. But I think he he did it. He, he, uh. he tried to get with her, honey. I mean, you just tried to get with her. I mean, that's the American way. You cheat uh. on Chloe. I mean, Chloe Kardashian, and um, you know, and tried to get with this girl. But one thing, what people got to realize, honey, people are saving receipts, as y'all call it. You saw this woman a text with you being stupid. You should have never did that, and she saved it. 
So she put it out there and she let Chloe know that this is what he's doing. So now he's trying to say, honey, no, I didn't do that. And he said, I, she said to the people, I finally received the season to six hours after I made my post online. It was first sent to an email. She said, um, I no longer use. She said, however, I'm moving forward with the truth and I am choosing not to comply. So she ain't complying to that season to six love. So. Mm. We gonna see how Did you say it's the American way, Gary? That's the American way, honey. You know how it's done. <laughs> Y'all know how it's done. So you send a smoke signal, honey. You do not send a letter or nothing like that. So it's okay. just evaporate. Okay. <laughs> there you have it, honey. All right, the Kahlua today, honey, is one of my favorite Kahlua. My Kahlua today is faded rose. On the high end, you say faded rose, and on the low end, you say light pink. That's your Kahlua for today. All right, y'all, give it up for Gary with the team. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Well, got your welcome calls. Get at the 866. Call me now, 866-9-R-I-C-K-E-Y. We're trying the morning show.